All right, so we've got this mass here that can slide along the length of this bar. And the first thing we need to figure out is the tension in the, in the cable. And we can do this by analyzing the torques around this hinge here. And so we have uh, the weight force down, which is going to be weight times that distance x. And then we're going to have the tension up. And that's going to be tension times the distance L times that sine of that angle. And that has to equal 0. And so the tension force here, if we add this to both sides, divide both sides by L sine theta, we're going to get ten, ten, uh, tension is equal to Wx over L sine theta, like so. Now part B asks for the horizontal force. Well, the horizontal force of this on this hinge has to balance the horizontal force from the tension. And so we can just say that the horizontal force minus the tension force, which is tension cosine of that angle, has to equal zero. And since we know tension force in terms of L and X, we can plug this in. And if we add this to the other side, plug this value in here, we're going to get the horizontal force is equal to Wx over L cosine over sine, or tangent theta in the denominator. Now let's put it over here. <clears throat> Lastly, we need the vertical forces acting on this, and so we're going to have the vertical force from the hinge minus the weight force, and then plus the tension force. So we have the tension sine theta this time, and then all has to equal zero, and we're going to solve for this. So we have the vertical force is equal to weight minus tension sine theta, because we're just putting these on the other side. And then this tension is this value right there. So if we plug this in, the sine thetas are going to cancel out. And we're going to be left with weight minus Wx over L. And then we can factor out the, the weight of our object. And we just have weight times 1 minus x over L, like so.